are you doing these instagram caption mistakes that is are you doing these mistakes in your captions on instagram if yes come on in and we'll discuss it and welcome to the next episode of Tejal Talks. Today I'm going to share three mistakes which are super common among people while they create captions for their Instagram and I want to make sure that you're not making these mistakes. In case you are, this is the best time to correct them and move forward from here. So let's get started guys. The first would be the me, me, me syndrome. Is it that you're talking all about you and your brand on your business on Instagram in your captions or are you positioning things and writing things down according to the perspective of your ideal customer? Your customer or your audience who is listening to your content or reading through it does not care about you or your business. They only care about themselves. So position whatever you're writing in a way that is helpful to them and not just talking about ourselves. Because if you're too self-absorbed, they might not care and we would be wasting an opportunity to connect with them. So whatever you write, make sure even if it's about you that you're writing, write it from the perspective of the customer. What is it that you're giving it to them? What is it that you are opening a point of connection for them? Think from this perspective to ace your captions. This is the first very important step that you can do. So the mistake would be don't do the me, me, me syndrome. Instead, come out of it. Think from the perspective of your customer and help them solve this problem. The second mistake would be not opening with a hook. In case you're not opening with a hook, a question, something which is intriguing or increasing their curiosity, then you have lost them at that very point because they're not going to read through. As you know, Instagram, you might be knowing that only one and a half line is visible to them. And post that, if they have to read, they have to click on the more button. In case your first one and a half line is not inviting them to click on the more button, we have lost them. And whatever might we have written, amazing things we might have written underneath it, they won't read it. So there's no point in writing amazing things unless you start with a good hook. And then again, if you're writing a good hook, make sure that whatever you are asking them or promising them, you're giving that in the content. We don't want to create clickbaity stuff anywhere. So that is something that you need to work on. The second thing. And the third thing would be not ending with a call to action. So people don't know what you want them to do. You need to tell them that. For example, if you want them to go to your link in your bio and sign up, and get a freebie tell them that if they are going to get a discount on your website tell them that tell them to go and click that link in your bio or go to your stories or go to your website or probably if even if you just want some engagement from them ask them some question and tell them to leave it in the comments below ask them to just comment an emoji in the comments below in case they agree with what you're saying so basically your post each and every post needs to end with a call to action call to action might not necessarily be sending them external to your products or services it can simply be asking them to engage like not directly engage but asking them to comment or double tap in case they agree just small simple things which people will do once you tell them and the second thing is it also creates a relationship because you're asking them to do something and they're doing it so psychologically they're already connecting with you so this helps you twofold one by give, giving you more engagement or by uh, making them your leader probably your customer as well but the other definitely in creating a trust factor between you and them so Please do these three things and refrain from the three mistakes of the me, me, me syndrome, the not opening with a hook and not ending with the CTA. You need to do all of these three to make sure you are acing your Instagram caption game. In case you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and turn on the notifications button to know every time we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.